So we're Team A. Uh, next slide. My name is Ian Connor. I'm a senior here at UTD. I transferred in from UTA. I was doing some accounting and some operations management there. And kind of found out I liked making the boxes move somewhere than counting them. So I'm here at supply chain. Uh, pretty small and great. A couple of things to describe myself. It's uh, helpful, willing, tenacious, and I like to think of myself as clever, even though I use most of that to make awful jokes that make my crewmates groan. Um, I like being helpful just because I like making sure everyone's on the same page and at the same pace as everyone else. I want to make sure that no one left, gets left behind. I also like being willing. I like when those major problems come up in the group, I like to step forward and try and deal with them then. Once they come up, I like to be tenacious and hold on to those problems until they're done. I like seeing my work go into it. I like seeing what happens at the end. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Ryan Patel. Uh, I'm an accounting major. Uh, I like to describe myself as organized uh, because I like to start my day off fresh. So I like, I like to keep my work ready to go for the next day. Um, I'm also reliable. I like to get my work done as soon as possible. And I don't like waiting last minute. Um, I'm also cooperative. Uh, I, like, I like to get to know people in my group. Uh, that way I can build a good relationship. And because I'm so cooperative, I'm also very eager to help no matter the situation. Thanks. Hi, my name is Raul Sanchez. I'm an accounting major here at the University of Texas Dallas. And I would like to describe myself as genuine, inclusive, dependable, and punctual. When I make the effort to try to get to know someone, whether it be Gabriel, Sylvester, or Maga, I want you to know that I'm genuinely interested in getting to know who you are, where you come from, your interests, and your different points of view. When dealing with people, I'm very inclusive. I like to make people feel like they're important, like they're part of the team. Everybody has something to offer. Who knows? You might be that person that has that different way of looking at a certain problem, and that might just make the difference on whether the issue gets resolved or not. I want you to be assured that you can depend on me to perform as an individual and in a group setting. That is why being functional is one of my top priorities. I like to get to meetings, meet deadlines, and accomplish tasks in a timely manner. These are four qualities that I feel make me who I am. Thank you. Next week. Hello, I am Jason Saunders. I am an actuarial science major at UTD. First and foremost, I'm a very analytical person. I mean, that's what I do in my work, is I analyze data. I'm also inquisitive about that data because not only am I crunching numbers, but I have to understand the significance of it, not just for me, but for my business, my coworkers, and my clients. And all that stuff is constantly changing, constantly evolving, so I have to be adaptable. I have to be willing to adjust, you know, different work environments, different bosses or coworkers, shifting trends, anywhere in the world I might need to travel, anything really. And I'm also very diligent. I'm a very hard worker. What I do is hard work. You have to be serious about it. You can't slack off. You have to be willing to put your all into it. And that is how I operate in the workplace. Thank you. Next speaker. Hi, my name is Joseph Wynn. I major in accounting. And as such, I am detail oriented which means I like to do sorts of tasks in a specific way as much as possible. I also have an eccentric sense of humor, <laughs> which I use to uh, lighten up the mood and build connections and relationships. I am also serviceable. I like to help people as much as I can, even if it's outside of my job description, and of course legal. I know what it's like <laughs> to feel isolated and in need help, so talk to me if you need me. Last but not least, I am generous. Again, I like to help people as much as I can, and I do not let the mistakes of others or myself weigh me down. I learn from them, and then I move on. Next speaker. So here are four pictures without really defined UTD overall. We have JSON, of course, we're all here. We really feel like, just even aside from all this going to JSON, we feel this really needs to apply some strong points. Where auditing, accounting auditing um, degree plan is one of the top five in the entire world. Um, also, we have the Eric Johnson School of Engineering. We also feel that's another major selling point for UTD. Always pushing balance. They came in second place for a time on a water vehicle competition in 2008. To international, whole world, we came in second place. Also, we have the Charles Plaza. Always something going on there. They have it to keep shaded, they have the mist, they keep everyone cool, they're constantly having different events and different projects and communities coming out and constantly showing up. We really feel that gives the sense that UTD still has a community despite when we're all half as a community here. And lastly, we have the bioengineering and science building, the one under construction. We feel that it applies UTD because we're constantly growing, expanding, and trying to push the balance 
limits. And then we also have the National Science Engineering Research Lab, which one looks like it's fish scales all over it. But we, higher education, the sciences, we're constantly thinking that UTD is pushing that in better business practices. So this is what we really think exemplifies UTD as a whole. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> and that concludes our presentation.